Hello everyone, my name is Yotam and welcome to another piano tutorial. Today we will learn how to play Popcorn, which is an instrumental electronic track that dates back to 1969 when Gershon Kingsley composed it for the Moog Synthesizer album. That album showcased a bunch of specifically composed pieces for the then new Moog modular synthesizer. So, since then, it became a worldwide hit, and there were a multitude of other versions and covers of it. Anyway, before we delve into the chords, the fingerings, etc., etc., let's hear how it sounds as a performance. And by the way, I'm going to use a synthesizer sound because I can. Let's take a look at the right hand melody first. But before we begin, notice how when I played the melody, I didn't do any fancy rhythms, any syncopations whatsoever. And that is for two reasons. First of all, the original 1969 version sounded like this without syncopations, just straight eight notes like a machine gun. Second reason, it's easier to learn it like that with a simple rhythm at first, and then you can implement any sorts of rhythm complexity as you wish. When analyzing the performance you've just heard, you can divide it into two equal parts. The first one being the B minor part, and the second is the D major part. So we start with the B minor part, with the B key. This is the first phrase. We are using five keyboard keys. Each one of them gets a finger. So we have the first finger, second, up to the pinky on the high B. All right, so we use this phrase, we play it twice like that. Now we take our third finger, put it on the high B that we started with, and again, we put a finger on every key. This is the next phrase. All right, again, those are the five keys of this phrase. Each gets a finger. After we've done with that, all over again from the beginning, we go back to the first phrase. And now we have a different response. Here you can use the third finger again. Okay, you can also use the second finger, it doesn't matter. Personally, I like to use the second finger because it gets us closer upwards where we're gonna go to the high F sharp. So now we finished the B minor part. We finished half of the song. Let's go to the D major part. Okay, we start with F sharp. This is the first phrase of the D major part. Now here, I don't like to use a finger for each key. All right, I take the thumb and I use it with these notes, with the A and the F sharp, that's the low F sharp. Those two notes get a thumb. So again, we use this, we play this phrase twice. This is the one. And again, the top F sharp, we take the third finger and we play the next phrase. Okay. 
Again, we have five keyboard keys. Each one gets a finger. Those are the five. And we go back to the first phrase of the D major part. And a closing phrase that loops us back to the B minor part that goes like this. Here again, I like to use the second finger, okay? So we have, we finish on the high B with the pinky. Again, I'm gonna play the last phrase of the D major part. Good, and now we loop it all over again. I mean, that's electronic music, right? Now, I know this song has a second section, but that's for another lesson. If there's enough demand, I'll do a follow-up for the other section, other chunk of the popcorn track. All right, let's talk chords for a minute, okay? So again, we start with the B minor part. And we stay on B minor chord for quite a while until we go down B minor, A, G, back to B minor. All right, now, here are the chords for the D major section, by the way. So we start with D major. And when the melody is going down, Right, so we have F sharp minor, E major, D major, and second time we do this, we end with a B minor. Bass is doing octaves like a disco, oompa, oompa, up, down, up, down, sounds like this. This is the first half of the B minor part, okay? Now we do a copy-paste with the only exception of the ending because we're transitioning into the, into the D part, we need to end with a D, not with a B this time. So it's almost a copy-paste, just with a D ending. Listen to this. And here is our divider, half of the song is done. Let's go to the D major part. And it's simply, we move everything, okay? So the bass is as follows. That was the first part of the D major. And on the second part, we need to close with the B because it leads us looping back to the B minor, all right? So it sounds like this. Okay, so this is it. Now we are ready to combine both hands together. Let's check it out. As always, I recommend practicing a whole song in smaller digestible chunks. We already have our middle divide between the B minor and the D major part. Each one of these can be further divided into two equal parts, making it four in total. So now when we combine both hands, we only target each one of these four sections consecutively, all right? I'll show you how it's done now. This is B minor part one. Practice this slowly, even slower than this, until you make it. Loop it around. Be confident. Become confident. Then move into B minor part two. Good. 
finished half of the song, D major, part one. D major, second part, which is the last one. Now, after you've practiced each one, now you need to connect, connect them back. So connect the two BM parts, connect the two D parts, and then connect everything into a performance. And once you master it, now is your chance to make it your own. So add all the ornamentation, the improvisation, everything that is extra, right? The cherry on top, for example, I can add more interesting rhythmical syncopation to the melody. And it may sound something like this. That's it, simple and beautiful. All right, you guys. So after you've managed to play popcorn in this speed, in this tempo, now you can increase the speed and you should. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You enjoyed this tutorial and gained value from it. And don't forget to leave me a comment, press like, subscribe, share, you know, whatever floats your boat, whatever pops your popcorn, if you will. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.